We're back on We Found Your Music at Dash Radio. We're joined by The Fictionist. They're from Provo, Utah, and Robbie from the group joins us. in Well, not in the studio, but on Skype. Welcome to the studio, Robbie. Yeah, the internet. Hi, how's it going? Uh, I'm great. Yeah, you said you can see the uh, the sunny uh, the weather here in Hollywood here on this Sunday afternoon. Beautiful. <laughs> so there's four members in the band. We have Aaron, Robbie, Brandon, and Stuart. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, how long have you guys been a band? We've been a band uh, for about eight years now. Mm-hmm. Cool. It's been a long journey. We've done a bunch of different stuff, and uh, it's been fun. We've evolved a lot. We've had a couple of different members that have. Uh, kind of joined and left and whatnot but us four that are still in it we've we've been we've been together for yeah about eight years now awesome man cool well, you have your your new ep out it just came out in july so it's it's all still very new here uh we got the uh their ep and free spirit is the title correct yep yeah right on and you've been supporting it you're about to head on to a national tour here and we are presenting your show here in los angeles we found your music presents fictionist step rockets uh and satch mode november 2nd in hollywood so we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a few how would you describe the the band's uh sound and i guess why don't you tell us some of uh each of your members favorite bands growing up yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I describe the sound as uh, it's definitely a rock sound, but we get experimental with it. There's some fun synthesizer stuff. There's some fun uh, um, grooves. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're really, especially with this latest EP, we've just been really excited about making like, fun music. And, uh, and uh, we kind of wanted to keep it like just exciting and fun. Yeah. You know, we, over the years, we've made a lot of music that's like uh, more like pretty and slow moving and stuff like that, which we love as well. But like with that, with the EP Free Spirit, we just kind of, I don't know, we were in the mood to kind of get out and have a party. So Yeah, definitely. And are all of the band members from Utah? Three of us are. Um, we, the three of us, me and uh, Stuart and Brandon, we grew up in Salt Lake City. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, and then Aaron, our drummer, he's from Sacramento. Cool. Uh, we yeah. just had a band in the studio from Provo. Uh, they're called the Aces. And oh, no. uh, if you haven't heard them, you should definitely check oh. them out. And you know. Oh, yeah, we're friends. Yeah. Oh, you guys are friends. <laughs> yeah, totally. I was going to ask yeah. you about that. Yeah, we played a show together about a year ago. One of the biggest pro- uh, shows Provo does is called the Rooftop. Okay. It's a series, and they, they block off uh, Center Street the biggest street and have a big old show. And, uh, that's the last time we played with them, but we played with them a couple of times. They're awesome. Yeah, man. Awesome. Yeah. We love them. We actually helped present their LA debut here. (laughs) So, um, I'll, I'll say what's up from the fictionist to them and hopefully, (laughs) well, I'll get to do a show sometime. That's really exciting, man. Cool. Right on. Well, Free Spirit went top 10 on Alternative Specialty uh, and uh, sits at 75 on number 75 on the CMJ College Charts. Talk about that success and what the song's about. So we, in our band, we actually have two singers, which is fun. I sing and my brother-in-law, Stuart, sings. Mm -hmm. Um, And Free Spirit is, uh, it's a song that Stuart wrote. Um, It's fun because it's, it's like, an upbeat song, even though the lyric is somewhat like, <laughs> could, yeah. could be a little more morose, but, um, but really the, the, the idea behind it is like accepting who you are and sorry, Brandon just got here. Our oh, other, that's all right. Uh, let's, let's hold see. for a second. We're now joined by another member of the group. Brandon joins us in the studio here all the way from Provo. How's it going, man? Good. How are you? Good, good. Cool, uh, cool. Well, we're going to just jump into the uh, single here, Free Spirit. It went number 10 on the alternative specialty charts and hits it number 75 on the CMJ college charts. Talk about that success, what it means to you. Uh, it's awesome. Sorry, I wasn't sure if you're talking to Robbie or me. Yeah, uh, either, one, either one. It's it's fantastic. I mean, it's it's all, it's all it never ceases to be cool when we put something out there and you know, people like it, respond to it. Um, and for it to have, you know, been up, you know, peaked up at 10, that's, it's more than we could have asked for. 
but it's fantastic. We're excited about it. Hopefully continued success from here. Uh, what's, what's the, uh, the song about? Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah. So the main idea of the song, um, as I understand it, um, is, is about, uh, accepting, you know, someone for who they are and, uh, even the rough edges and whatnot. And, um, uh, I'll just say like, so our band, like me, this is Robbie speaking. I write some of the songs and sing some of them. And Stuart, uh, my brother-in-law writes some and sings some. And Stuart is on the road free spirit. And when he first brought it to me, I was like, yeah, this is a great song. And it was something we could all get behind, uh, conceptually. And that was a concept we really latched onto with the whole EP in general, um, was to kind of like let a little bit, uh, loose with it and have a good time with it. Awesome. And, that way, I mean, we kind of, that's been the mentality of the band recently and it's been really fun and freeing that way. So I think the term free spirit really like matches that. All right, cool. Well, the EP was just released in July. So, um, I guess since it's so new talk about the journey to this point and now the supporting of the EP, uh, with summer shows that you made, uh, that you did and now you're going to be on this tour. Yeah. Um, so, um, this is our, our first release in, uh, in a couple of years, two and a half, no, two years? Yeah, it's been about two years since our full length. Yeah, and um, we, we just, um, you know, I, I think every recording we do is different and, and a kind of a progression just because we're just constantly interested in new things. And so the EP, you know, was, was cool to release because it, it built on what we did with the, the, our recent full length. And then, um, and yeah, we've uh, we've enjoyed trying to you know support the songs on that and kind of get them out to as many people as possible. I mean, for me, it, and maybe I, pro- I probably said this about every recording we've done, but it's my favorite stuff we've done so far. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so it'll be fun to tour that around. I'm gonna do a, gonna do a West Coaster, of course, and and um, and hopefully you know get to get to have a lot of people at the shows and, and just party. Cool. All right. And where are you heading on this West coast tour? Uh, we're starting in San Diego and then just moving up all the way up the coast, ending in Seattle and then coming down through, uh, Idaho, Utah and Colorado. All right. What, what can we expect from the live show? You mentioned you are the other singer, correct? So there are two singers on our last full length. Um, we kind of traded off, uh, you know, just depending on who wrote the song, mm-hmm. uh, but the Beatles style cool. and, uh, with the EP, um, and this next record we're working on, um, we actually tried to embrace that even more and like switch off more even within the same song. So the EP is kind of the first piece of music where we do that a lot. Awesome. Uh, and, uh, it's fun. It, you asked about the live, uh, show, it is kind of entertaining for the live show in that way because it's like, you know, Brandon sings more now than he used to. We all just kind of like get up there and like shout the words and have a good time, you know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's cool. Well, we can't wait to present that show on November 2nd here in Los Angeles at the Satellite. And uh, we got a little bit of a co headline tour going on. What's that? Super. We're super excited to play the venue. It's yeah. Really the venue. It, well, I mean, it's a really cool venue. Yeah, it's right in the heart of a very artistic kind of areas in Silver Lake there. Uh, so we, we look forward to that. Obviously, Satch Mode will be the local support, and they're really badass, too, if you haven't heard them yet. Uh, but, yeah, we're really excited about the whole thing. <laughs> It'll be awesome. Yeah, definitely. Well, that, that'll be a great stop on your tour. So we just wanted to stop and catch up with you. Uh, also, uh, I believe there's a micro album on the way for you guys. So that was a really fun piece of music. What we decided to uh, attempt was we took a theme and uh, wrote a bunch of songs for it. Um, and rather than complete the songs like the typical way of saying like, okay, how, where are we going to take this song? uh for three or four minutes we um decided to string them all together like it's conceptually similar to the second half of abbey road but uh there's a uh, theme that goes throughout and um and so we're calling it a micro album because all the songs are shorter and the whole thing is just going to be less time a full album oh, cool. um 
but it's really exciting and it kind of takes you on a journey. And uh, I think it's good for today's attention spans too, you know, like myself included, I have a hard time making it through a full uh, normal record right now. And I'm a musician. I say it's a cool little journey. Like it's, it's longer than any one song that someone would listen to, but it's, it's far shorter than an album. And so the hope is that people will digest it in one sitting and then just kind of go on this, you know, this little bit of a roller coaster ride and, sure. and um, we, we kind of visit a whole bunch of tempos, a whole bunch of textures and, and, and energy. And, and uh, I, I think it's really engaging the whole way through and kind of like Robbie said, really good for the modern attention span. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. That's, that's how it is these days. Well, we can't wait for that. So that's something else to look forward to from you guys. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, where can people, what's, what's kind of the best place to find you guys maybe to purchase your music or to interact with you? Yeah. I mean, we, so we have a website where we sell all our, all our merch and, uh, our music. And then, um, we're on, uh, Instagram and Facebook a lot. And, uh, our handle is usually fictionist noise. Okay. Fictionist noise. There you go. Well, the EP is free spirit. I found it on Spotify. I'm sure you can find it in all kinds of other places. Uh, and thanks again, guys. Uh, we look forward to hanging out with you on November 2nd as we Fendi music presents the fictionist step rockets and satch mode at the satellite. All right, guys have a great Sunday and we will talk to you soon. You too. See, ya. See you later. Bye.